Hello, this is Phil Tapas and Phil de Harcourt. This is part two of the demonstration that we're just going to take you through a budget cycle using the board software. So, before we start then, we're just looking at, um, at the application that we built here. It's a sales budget. And the main point to say here is that we're, what we're demonstrating is that this is an application that's been built through the product. It's not a tool set. So this is tailored to the unique needs of, of the company. So um, from that then, we're going to start at the very beginning here, the preliminary budget. So this is the very initial um, top-down setting. Um, and what we're doing here, we're leveraging the data from like a previous year, or it could be uh, leveraged from uh, like the headcount data or in, any other data. But in this case here, we're just going to take last year's and we're going to increase it by 10%. As you see, it runs a process and it will copy. This, this type of process can be run and through a button from any, any screen. So now we've got um, a target set for the salespeople, but just within this screen here, we can see the areas in blue enable our budget entry enabled. So if you see there, if we change any one of these figures um, to a different one, and you'll see the total um, at the bottom there has changed. And we can also change it from that level and it will splash down, we call it splash down, and you see every figure has been equally adjusted based on its, its um, weighting. Okay, so um, now what we're going to do is shoot into the next part of the process. This has gone down to the individual salespeople to now enter their budget. So they've been given this initial um, setting by... Um, by, by from top down, but as you can see there, we can adjust um, the salesperson for a drop down, and each salesperson has, has uh, these widgets, like business intelligent widgets, which allow them to um, understand and analyze you know, the data, first of all, the budget data that's been provided and any previous years. So what we'll do, just to show you here some reverse engineering which is that the fact here that um, what we can see is that we're looking at the a division called watches and a watch type of product called aviators men say and as you can see there we've got the first first one we can see the prior year but what we're going to do is change the delta which is the the difference and you can see it reflects in a change of percentage but we can also change it through the the uh, percentage and again, it doesn't matter which way we enter the data, how we enter it, um, it, it will update. Okay, so what we do is we'll shoot to the next tab here. And this is now right at the very bottom up level. And again, this is where we can show a few neat little data, data entry um, ones where we can lock a cell. So we've locked that one at 2889. And let's say we change this to 20,000. And you can see we can we can keep one thing the same, and that could be the total month the same, the total year the same, uh, and it will not adjust. And as you see there, we've just got a top-down adjustment. We can enter at any level, consolidate it. And the point to make here is that any change we make here is reflected at any every part of the system. Every report we run now will be immediately updated. Okay, so. Um, this is just showing you here how we can enter um, comments at any stage and we can attach documents or notes and these will follow right the way through the system and be carried against that figure from top and from down. Now we're just going to show that uh, the budget process is about planning and adding new items or lines. So what we're going to do here is, is, um, is add something because it's not in our ERP system because it doesn't exist but it is still going to be part of your planning and budgeting. So this enables us to in this case add a new product but it could be anything and we can attach it to a group so we can keep all the reporting flowing through properly. So we just and this guides you through it. Um, and at this point here um, we won't go into it but because it's a new product, we need to attach um, a dollar number or a quantity number to every um, salesperson and allocate it in some way so that it can be um, then um, budgeted for planning. Okay, just quickly here, at any point in the process, you can see how we have 
visibility of, of everything here. We can see the ones in progress, the ones that are approved, so we can immediately um, find out who needs to be chivied along. At the same time, we can broadcast out uh, messages to everyone in the budget process. So it just means we have complete, um, we can follow that. And just if we go back one step here, we, we can just submit this once, once it's done. And so when we come, and you can see here now how we cannot enter data, it's been locked. And when we go back to the approval cycle, so we can see everything. And we can see um, Brian, uh, Brian has got submitted status, so his is now locked. And of course, we can reject it or do anything we like or change it and send it back. So finally, um, what we're going to get to now is just the overview. We've got all the budget figures in, and this just incorporates the business intelligence part of, of this, just to show you how we can highlight certain areas there. And you can see how everything updates based on the filters we apply to it. We can also drill down under any, any point in this process um, to see, you know, like, we want to drill down by any of these entities, product, product groups, and so on, and, and get um, down to the, the data, the transactions that make them up. So we're incorporating both business intelligence and planning and budgeting um, all in the same way, and we can start to analyze our budgets immediately. We don't have to wait till it's consolidated. Okay, that concludes our budget demo.